All right, now so much happened in the entertainment scene over the weekend. But let's begin in West Africa, where Nigerian musician Adekunle Gold has tackled OAU students who harassed him back in 2015. Now the Tio Tequila singer recounted in a tweet his terrible experience and he's advising other entertainers against performing in the school. The superstar tackled online blogs and some Obafemi Aulawa students who alleged that he delivered a poor performance uh, back in 2015. Let's look at that tweet. Uh, in, in fact, he says, poor what? I had just one song out there in Shade, and these knew it. They booked me. I prostrated for the students, Noam. I hyped the crowd up, performed a cappella, sang the full song, entered the crowd, performed again, came back to the stage, did the same thing again. Now, tweets from 2015 confirmed that the singer was harassed. And in fact, uh, he says they followed me to my hotel to get half of their 300K that they had paid me. I had one song, one, performing Shade six times, he says. Uh, the globally recognized star even revealed that they were going to harm him. He says, do you know how insane that is? Um, he also said uh, one of their representatives came to lie. <laughs> others came to his defense, um, some apologizing, of course, and others um, recalling the actual event, uh, some even calling it a traumatic experience for the sensational singer. Uh, at some point, they said that they were throwing sachets of water at the singer. The Nigerian superstar who dropped new music on Friday uh, is expected to drop his fifth studio album on the 29th of this month and um, then proceed for a world tour across the UK and North America. Uh, I guess everyone has their humble beginnings, uh, but fans need to do better because throwing things, no, nah, it's wrong. Uh, but still in West Africa, Ghanaian musician Sakordie is in the news. The multi-award winning singer, rapper, I beg your pardon, is making waves on his Jams World Tour, which kick-started on Saturday, just as Saturday the 15th, in New York. The rapper born Michael O. Suado makes history at the New York Town Hall, thrilling several fans to some of his biggest hits. Now, many Ghanaian fans across the world uh, called it a win for Ghana. In fact, the highlight for many fans who were at the, at the attendance uh, was the guest performance from veteran musician Kojo Antri. Now, the 38-year-old star would continue on tour till September, performing across Washington, D.C., Chicago, Nashville, and three locations in Canada, Toronto, Vancouver, and Edmonton. Uh, let's watch this video. What a time to be alive. Seeing Afro African stars, Afrobeat stars performing all across the world, it's definitely beautiful to behold. Uh, but let's move to East Africa, where preparations have begun for one of Kenya's most promising festivals. Now, the Shoke Shoke Festival will be bringing together some of the country's biggest stars, and the organizers have revealed that Nigerian singer and songwriter Ruga will headline the second edition set for later this month. Now, Ruga will share the stage with Kenyan hip-hop group uh, Wakadinali. There's, of course, Kahush, Lord Wynn, uh, CNG, Dream, amongst others. Uh, I also did see the Son L musician. I'm a huge fan, South African. He's also going to be performing. Uh, but this is Ruga's third performance in Kenya, and he seems to have amassed plenty fans uh, from his several hit songs. Now, the buzz is getting bigger for the festival following the success of its debut edition. Remember, uh, Shoke Shoke 1.0 featured Ira Starr, a Nigerian sensation, and was trending at number top three on Google Trends. Uh, in fact, it garnered over 5,000 uh, concert goers, 20 million TikTok challenge views, uh, was number one trending on Kenyan Twitter in March last year, and, uh, yeah, and uh, 8,000 trees were planted. Now, in fact, the Shoke Shoke and their team have once again pledged to plant one tree for each ticket sold. Fans don't have to wait too long. In fact, uh, it kicks off on the July 29th this, this month at Uhuru Gardens in Nairobi. And tickets currently are priced at 2,000 uh, Kenyan shillings for regular and about 6,000 for VIP. Uh, we're looking forward to seeing how this one goes, of course. Uh, Ruga, I'm sure he would, he would put on a show for many of the, of the females, particularly in the audience. Well, let's move to this one. On the international scene, of course, it's much buzz since Mission Impossible dropped. And impressively, it's doing great numbers uh, since its debut. Although it's behind some predictions and expectations, the seventh installment started off with about 155 million US dollars uh, for a global debut of about 235 million dollars. Now, with the first week figures out, um, it's, it's big because Dead Reckoning Part 1 leads the other Mission Impossible films in the couple of days that it's been out already. And even movie critics have rated the film high. I'm talking Rotten Tomatoes rated uh, it about 96%, and a cinema score rated it an A. 
Now, the movie cost nearly $300 million before marketing, which is incredibly expensive. But this was, of course, due to COVID-related starts and stops and other pandemic-era safety measures. Also, the stunts. Um, Tom Cruise's character, Ethan Hunt, uh, flies out of a mountain on a motorcycle, um, scales off a running train, maneuvers the tiny cars through the bustling streets of Rome. And uh, it's, it's definitely one of those ones that you definitely would uh, go out to watch. But a lot of the fears for the film dropping is the fact that Barbie is going to be dropping later this month. So, and we saw the marketing on Barbie. So I, I have to ask, Mission Impossible, are you big fans? I'm so excited about Mission Impossible. I can't wait for it. I, I definitely will see it at the cinema this week. But I just want to say that it's interesting how Barbie has become main character energy. All of right. a sudden, everybody wants to be Barbie and jump on the Barbie trend. And I really it's just hope, a lot of PR. I don't think anybody cares that much about I Barbie. really hope, that after all the PR oh, and the marketing, that the film is worth all the hype. Because the hype is a lot. <laughs> I agree.